Hey. How are you guys doing? It's been a good day. Am I good? I think I'm good. Um. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Thank you for returning to hear me rant and just talk about things that are on my mind. And thank you to all of my subscribers. I know you may be looking at that subscriber count and you're like, uh, who and what? They're coming. They're coming. And I am willing to be patient. So welcome. And I hope that you enjoy my content and you decide to click that like and subscribe button. And maybe let's communicate via comments below i would i would love to do that anyway so today's topic i was just sitting here reading emails working and i was thinking um just about um i was just thinking about how grateful i am and this is normally what happens when I am going through a competition prep because, you know, it's a lot of restriction, you know, things that you can't eat. Nonetheless, I do eat. I eat about five, six meals a day. They're not massive meals, but your girl's not hungry. It's just not what I really want, but I am not hungry. But being on restriction, it's pretty much like a fast. So, you get to really be in tune with self and I am just so grateful and I'm in a season. I am in a season of gratefulness. I'm grateful for a few things. I'm grateful that I finally found an outlet, YouTube. Um, where I can just be me, express myself, um, and hopefully I could inspire and motivate someone along the way. But I'm just grateful for life. You know, with the role that I have here at my job, I have a lot of flexibility, right? And my youngest daughter works for the same school I work for part time. And I was just like, hey, let's go to the office because we both work from home. Let's go to the office and let's um, cook breakfast for the office. In the office, it's a lot of people, but some days um, it might just be about maybe 20 people in the office, which is a lot of people to cook breakfast for. And, and what I had on the menu was just either pancakes or waffles, or they can get both. Um, sausage, turkey, or pork, um, and orange juice. So it's pretty simple, but nonetheless, it's an opportunity to let people know how much you care about them as individuals. It is an opportunity to let them know that you recognize them, that you see them. Um, and for once, they don't have to spend any money on breakfast and that somebody has them you know, for the morning. And I was able to do that. We got there, my daughter and I, around um, 9.05. And my start time was supposed to be 9.30. And we ended at 10.30. But we started 15 minutes early. We cleaned while we went, you know, through, you know, serving people, cooking up the pancakes and waffles. And it was fun. And it's such an awesome thing to know that you are in position to just give. And I'm grateful for that. Even, you know, pancakes, waffles, sausage, that's not much. But I'm just grateful that I have that opportunity to give back. I remember being the Maya who was all about the gimme. The gimme, 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 gimme. And this is my season of being grateful. I'm grateful for people. 
I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to bless other people the way I want to, you know? And it was such a success today that my daughter and I, we decided to go back in November, right before the break, and we are going to do like a coffee bar where we have signature specialty coffees and all the fixings to put inside the coffee to make it look pretty and sweet and festive. And I'm going to make some blueberry muffins and some pumpkin muffins to give out to the office staff to let them know that they're loved. This is a part of my training that I absolutely love because you cannot eat your feelings away. You can't just run to the McDonald's and get a large french fry, which normally that's what I would be doing is going somewhere and getting a french fry or two extra large with that sweet and sour sauce on the side, right? No, I know I just got through eating my fourth meal of the day. It was five strawberries and a whole apple. But I'm satisfied. So when you're going through a training, when you're training for competition, you are forced to deal with your stuff and become really just self-aware and in tune. And it used to be really scary for me, but now I am loving it. And when I'm feeling like I want to stuff my face with a whole jar of peanut butter, you know, or whatever the case may be, that's an opportunity for me to give. Give. I was created to be a giver. I was not created to see what I can take from people. I vowed that every single day since I started this channel that I would be a giver to you guys through motivation, through inspiration, through my workouts, reminding you that you can do it and you're a bad, okay? You are. You got this. To remind people that Jesus loves you and that there are people out here who actually care about you and who want to see you elevate to the next level. You know, I'm in a good place and I am thankful for this place. It's been rough since 2019, December. It's been rough. It's been rough and interesting, but I'm alive. And I don't know what you all are going through. I don't know what's on your plate, what troubles you. But just know that you can always come to this channel, if not every day, every other day, and get a good kiki or a kick in your butt like get up, it's time to work out, or just something simple like this, just to share a little bit of my heart with you. And I hope and pray that this channel blesses people. Just blesses people. That's what we need. We are in a season as a society, as a community, we are just in a season of exposure and attacking one another. And you know what? That's, it's draining. It's draining to be a part of and it's, a, it's draining to watch. So I just want you guys to know that whatever season I'm in, that's what I'm going to bring forth to the channel. And let me tell you something, if I'm in a very negative place in space, I'm not even going to turn this camera on. I'm not going to do that to you guys. Because remember, I'm a giver. My mom used to tell me this story all the time. So my name is Maya, right? M-A-Y-Y-A. -Y -Y -A. It looks like Maya. And I had an uncle, sidebar, who used to call me Maisha. I'm like, you know what, Uncle Dave? That's a lot. You you did, you put extra syllables to that. That's a bit much. It's just Maya. But anyway, for the first, I think, couple of days after I was born, I didn't have a name. 
I was literally called baby girl. Now, I know we use baby girl. It's, you know, it's something that they put on pants on the booty that says baby girl. And, you know, no, I was like a baby girl, baby girl. Because I didn't have a name. So when my mom and my dad named me Maya, the premise behind that name and no, it's not. I wasn't named after Maya Angelou. A lot of people ask me that. And I'm thinking, no, I'm M-A-Y-Y-A. She's M-A-Y-A. So, I, no, I was not named after her. No offense. It would have been beautiful. But that's just not my story. So, Maya, right? My, meaning I belong to my parents. And ya yeah, to the world. And I think that's pretty special. And as special as it is, that means I have a job to do. I just don't belong to my mom and my dad. I belong to the world. I have a duty to this world. I have a duty to be different. I have a duty to be kind. I have a duty to be thankful. I have a duty to motivate. And you know what? I have a duty to do all those things even when I don't want to. Because there are so many people who are hurting while I'm sitting here in my prayer closet, while I'm sitting here in my office, while I'm just sitting here in, in this space that's mine, there is someone out there struggling. And I don't want to add to someone's drama. I want to bring peace. So I'm thankful. And I'm grateful. And I am inspired. So yeah. Update on my weight. Yeah. I weigh in this Friday. As of Monday, I was 170 pounds. 170.4 pounds, actually. So I weigh in... Uh, on this Friday and then again on Monday. I should be out of the 170s. I'm going to claim that now. Come on now. I've been in the 170s since I started, which is on the 1st. It's time. Yeah, it's, it's time. So, I don't know what you're going through, but it's only for a moment. It's only for a season. Hang in there. Be kind, not just to others, but be kind to yourself. I think we forget that. Now, like, for example, I started my program on the first at basically 180 pounds. And now I'm at 170. I need to celebrate that and be kind to myself and not rush to the next phase of this, you know, this journey. I need to just embrace and, and celebrate what I've already lost. And I'm challenging you to do the same. So yeah, I'm excited. My daughter and I, we are excited about next month to offer the office, the coffee bar. You know, and my goal is to really, I don't know, I want to do something really big in the community. I don't know what that thing is yet, but I foresee as I gain more followers, because I'm in the Atlanta area, that we can do meet and greets and I can serve people in whatever kind of capacity. I don't know. We all need that. I was created to serve. So I'm going to go. I just wanted to share my heart right quick. And just to remind you guys to pray often. Work hard. Be kind. And most of all, stay humble. So thank you for rocking with your girl. My name is Maya of Motivation and muscles with Maya. Have a blessed one. See you guys later. Bye.